guys, this is Drive With Me. I'm with one of my friends. That here is the Latuna Canyon. And what, what's the name? Big Tahanga Canyon. Big Tahanga Canyon. If you remember, there was a fire here. Uh, so uh, he's a good friend of mine. His name is Riley. And he used to live as a homeless here. Hi, Riley. Hi, how you doing? So uh, thank you for bringing me here. How long you live here? I was here for three and a half years. Three and what, what's your story, Riley? Can you just uh, briefly? My story was I had uh, a house in La Crescenta, which is the next town over, and uh, I lost it uh, due to some bad decisions I made, and uh, I found myself here. So, luckily, I had a truck with a camper shell on it that uh, I could sleep in most of the time, but. Uh, I did have a tent out here. Uh, I usually rented it out to people for whatever. So you rented from homeless people? Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? How much? How much you pay for a night to rent oh, it? Depends on how much drugs I wanted at the time. Wow. So like average price for renting a oh. tent from homeless, another homeless. They party me out, you know. Uh, Get me high and you know it's yours. I'll sleep in my truck, yeah. six pack, uh, you know, or whatever. Sometimes the people didn't have a lot of anything, so it'd be like a beer and smoke a bowl, and that would be good enough, you know. Yeah. Did uh, you ever like um, been in the downtown Los Angeles, like a uh, Esquidro? Well, I, I have. Uh, I I know that area well because I work. I used to work down there. Uh, but, but did you end up over there as a homeless? No, no, no. Why? But, uh, why not over there? By Hippie's Kitchen and stuff. I got to know those guys there. A lot of those people because I, I worked. I worked on the signs of their hotels and motels. Yeah. So I got a relationship with them. Yeah, it was called Hippie's Kitchen. To all those people down in that area. Yeah. God bless you, man. Yeah, God bless you. So you you use drugs when I, you were? I did, I did. I'm clean now, but I did. How long you're clean now? Uh, since, well, it's gotta be three and a half years itself. So. Uh, what was the most, Riley? What was the most like help you get from from city and government? It was enough for you as a homeless people, homeless guy, to well, survive. Uh, I was making a good job and living in your own house. All of a sudden, down to uh, what, $220 a month. It's not very good. Yeah. Hey, hi. How you doing? Hi. Hey, it's Chris. What's going on, man? Hi, Chris. How you been? All right. Good. Hey, good. Yeah, that's everything good. How you been? What's going on? Oh, I just came down here. Do you, do you have a visit? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm doing, but I guess no one's down here anymore. Yeah, Keith, Mary Ellen, and Russ. Oh, I don't and I don't think I remember them. No, Russ, you probably remember oh. Russ and Valerie, but... Oh, yeah, I just, uh, Russ is up at the park across from the church. Right? Yeah. So I just said hi to him, but uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm working on another place up here, though, but... Cool, yeah. that, so this all burned out. Oh, obviously. Wow, that there used to be a guy that had a tree house right here, yeah. um, a buddy of ours, and then... Yeah, the two houses, real... right? Straight across. Yeah. And, uh, and it was great because when it flooded, you know, you could be up in the treehouse. It was, yeah. you know, like Gilgan's Island. Yeah. Well, Gilgan's Island was actually better, but, <laughs> you know, yeah. what, he, he did it and we were in it, so it was nice. So you're happy to see your old friend? Oh, yeah. It's been a while. How you been? I'm glad to see you still alive and stuff. Yeah. yeah it's not easy down here. So you haven't been in the area then? Is that uh, you know? No, I've been staying at a friend's house in town. And, uh, I'm getting ready to head over there right now. I'm going to go and see a lady friend of mine. Oh, cool. And I'm trying to get, I'm trying to figure out uh, how to get back to Colorado. Because mm. uh, a friend of mine that I fell in love with a few years back went back there to try and get her kids back and everything like that. Uh -huh. and, uh, she's dying. She came out here to see me one oh, last man. time. Oh, man. And, uh, and she went home. And I want to go and see her before she goes. Oh, well, get, get on with it. Uh, yeah, is sure. there any, uh, so no one, no well, camps Russ down and, here whatsoever? Yeah, uh, just Russ and Keith is over there against the side of the mountain. And, uh, is Keith there? Or? Keith's there right now with Mary Ellen, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if it would be cool to, for me to bring someone. Uh, 
Yeah. You walking around and get well? That's what I heard. So Riley, what was the? It good to see old friends here. Yeah, you know. And you want to uh, go from here? Oh uh, yeah, I guess we should go down there. So, so what was the most help you got from uh, city? And you were happy that? Well, luckily, I don't know why, but I went through that system very fast. Uh, when I became homeless down here. You meet people up at the food bank. Be careful. You meet people up at the food banks and you fill out the paperwork. So and like Russell said, uh, you, you go through the motions and then nothing ever happens. Yeah. But if you dig a little bit further, you find out that usually it's the the homeless person that didn't make an appointment or the homeless person that said. You know, I'm tired of this process because it takes a while. So now I understand so, you you live in a Section 8 house. Now I have a nice little apartment. So how long will it took you to get that apartment? I was uh, okay. Let's put it this way: I was homeless for three and a half years, but I didn't try becoming unhomeless for about three years. So once I decided to, okay, I'll fill out the paperwork and go through the motions. And they found out that I was reliable, at least in the fact that I would show up when I said I was going to show up or show up where I said I was going to show up. Um, it happened really, really quickly for me. You know, it yeah. took me from that point, maybe six months to where I got into North Hollywood shelter. And as you hear some of my friends say, they were so close so many times and they've never seen it. So um, that is probably on uh, probably mostly on my friend's sides of not doing something right yeah. or not making appointments something but um, there is red tape and stuff affiliated with county services and sometimes they're not as expedient as you would hey. like so, them to be when you're down here so yeah um, you know so, so in the, meantime you are appreciated and meantime there is some problem from government yeah city. and uh, a lot of times you you get really close and you you're right there and if you're not firing on all cylinders whether it's because of drugs or depression or whatever yeah um, you don't make that one crucial appointment that one crucial That's contact and you get, you. they shove you down to the bottom again and you got to work all you know so why 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 homeless people they don't want to be on homeless like the, why the number one thing that i you know it's just my opinion i, yeah. I can't speak for everyone it's uh, rules that they like to be free and not follow anyone's rules but i've had this discussion with a few friends that would let me get this far with them and i said you do realize the rules of the wash are much harsher than the rules of like going along with the rules yeah you know? and uh they they some of them understood that but um not enough i guess to continue and other people um just didn't understand that concept at all that the rules played by when you're out here living in this yeah is a lot lot a lot more harsher <laughs> than so uh, what 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 made you to how, how long you're how long you're clean from which kind of drug you use i'm about three and a half years right now which kind of drug you use uh, alcohol and meth so and what made you once in a while but not really what made you to decided not to use it to go and stand up on your feet i will tell you in uh, probably uh, if we could put another 50 yards i'll tell you exactly where i was okay, when i had my epiphany yeah <laughs> okay okay uh, how you feel walking careful, here careful huh? um, i it's after all because of the fire and stuff knowing that my friends were down here during that and and just living the life that they had to live to stay down here um it, i'm almost teary right now. it's bringing back a lot of memories yeah Thank you for doing this. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, so this was once a well-worn path. Um, it's hot today. I know it's getting. We should still kind of be aware of snakes, maybe. A little. Snakes. Not, not supposed to be the, the time for them, but uh, they don't know that. Yeah. I have to be careful. 
Yeah. So, I don't even know. Oh, this is like a fire. Look at this one. Yeah, yeah. This was uh, bad for these people. So this was where the, the water came through. There's still a little puddle right there, but uh, we put a log from those trees over to that tree with the bush on it. Yeah. And we walked across that wash and we had a rope that was tied up for a hand rail. Yeah. And we used that to cross this water. Uh, there were um, little trout in here and stuff that people were catching and eating. And uh, fortunately they did, they were wise enough not to bathe right here and stuff. It was down further where, Yeah. Um, but it was, when the, these trees were full of leaves the water was coming through here up to like right right here yeah um it was beautiful and my friend's tree house was in that tree or the, that tree right there and um they that was the first thing they took down when they came through here and uh got everyone out mm. which uh, was not legal but um so you how have the money you get away with things in court again how you feel you know i'm i'm just kind of it's, it's, i am I'm, I'm kind of upset i'm pumped up right now and i'm i'm it, it's weird I, i'm kind of going back to being there and like the with the battle with those guys I, i've noticed i've since I met you, yeah. I'm becoming more and more angry with those people, and I shouldn't be right now. Residents. But, yeah, but just being down here, knowing what they did to us, and what they and, did, like the residents here, what they did. For yeah, you. they pulled. The, anyway, there's a road that went up. We'll show you maybe on the way out. Um, the town, I won't mention the name, but they have money. Yeah. Uh, the people down here in the wash at night uh could get very loud like, every night and there were screaming there was all kinds of activities going on i don't have to tell you everything uh well they had enough of that and yeah. it really bothered them so they got their money together and they got some guys that were contractors and they bull they came in one day with no warning and they just started bulldozing people no i know warning. the people that we just met literally heard tractors and went what and and rolled out of their sleeping bags and the tractors went by Wow. It was really scary, and wow, that's not and nice. they got away with it because they got money, and the people that are homeless don't have any representation, and you know, so that was, and they just recently did it again from what I'm hearing for two people so far. They just cleaned out again, wow. which is not cool because uh, it's not legal, and uh, I don't care what you, the problems you have with people. Oh, 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 okay, give, 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 give me your right Come across on the, yeah. Okay, stay on the rocks here. Whew, I almost went down. That would have been a bad Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh. No, thank God I am an, uh, a poison ivy expert and there's no poison oak right here. Oh, okay. Wow, what's, what's this? That's another, uh, Remnants of uh, someone's camp, a tent or a canopy. Uh, well, all right, you know what? Well, oh, we could go this. Oh, you made it? Okay. So. I'm trying to find a way to pass them since no one's been here for a while. Sometimes it helps being heavier, we can just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? okay. So, oh, I'm sorry. Heck. So, this was, a, this is, was the, the camp of my friend that had the tree house. And the tree house was in this tree right here. And uh, it was about 20 feet up. Wow. Gilligan Island style, uh, but he had a wash basin right here, a toilet set up. Uh, you know, and of course it was fed by five gallon buckets of water coming in from the stream and the toilet was, uh, you know, a bag in a five gallon, you know, a 
shopping bag inside a five gallon uh, bucket. So where, where did he throw when it's full? Uh, there's a little place right back in here yeah. that they pulled over and covered up now, yeah. thank God, but they just threw all their waste and stuff over there. So we're gonna go down this way a little bit more, but right over there, I don't know if we'll be able to get to it. That water comes back around and right where that big tree is, yeah. is where I, I had my epiphany. It was a hot day. Yeah. I was sitting by myself. Yeah. About 11 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Remnants of tent. And food. Um, had a plate of uh, methamphetamine in front of me. Cutting up, doing lines. Yeah. Sweating my butt off. So high and I just I just remember putting the razor blade down, looking up, it's right around the other side of that bush right there. Yeah. Looking up and going, Riley, what are you doing, man? You know, yeah. what happened? Where you know, where did go what